Come on in the garden. This is the love reading for Aries for September. We're going to see what energies that are here. Aries. Many of you, your third eye is opening up. This is a time for you to get more knowledge. So, some of you may be sensitive or some of your gifts are more in heightened during this time. This is a time for you to focus on your gifts, your intuition, what things are coming to you that you are seeing. Pay attention to the many signs. The angel message that's coming out for you for September is spiritual understanding. And here it says, I bring you information signs to help you understand the spiritual truth. So some of y'all may be seeing doves. Some may be seeing different um symbols. These are signs to help you understand the spiritual truth. Hey, and your own sign came out for you. Aries. This is coming up out of the storm. Coming up out of that blockage. This is the momentum building up. And you are about to shoot straight up out of that stagnant energy, that dark cloud that many have been in during this time, where this is a lot of passion, fire, smoke, like some you could have been working on your shadow side in the time that you was going inside or paused for that moment. Now you know exactly what direction you are going in. And this is coming in fast. So some of y'all may be getting a lot of downloads. Whether they are angel numbers, different signs. These are the messages to the different prayers and questions you've been asking. And it's your answer. Many of y'all, Aries, you need to take action on a situation and walk out that door because all of this could be a lot of anger that's been going on could be a lot of the argument we have rigid games aftermath my fair lady give me one more card for aries and love for this september And we have the dead peacock. So here, there may have been a lot of games that was played in this relationship. And with this aftermath, somebody is saying, fuck love. Where this may have been a soul tie for some of y'all. Where karma is coming in with my fair lady and it is ending someone's ego with the dead peacock. And we're going to clarify why is rigid games. Somebody in this relationship playing many games, but you've been getting the different signs telling you what's going on, telling you it's time to walk out the door. So you have many messages that will still be coming in. Give me three cards. Mm, we got karma again. We got the gnomes. This is being broke. This is sitting out 
at night under the stars trying to figure everything out where somebody just been sitting there waiting, waiting. Your ancestors say the wait is over. The doors are open for you to make a move, to go in the direction that's going to make you happy. Clarify aftermath. Here with aftermath, you let a situation go. That's the ten of air. Ending a cycle. And when you end this cycle, you will be the star. We have the air sign that was on the floor. It fell out. And this air sign is the communication all in your head. But you made a stand. And now you moving forward as the star. Everything coming in for you. Oh, goodness. All these cars just jumping now. We have the water sign that fell. The nine of fire. We have the fairies. So, with the karma... This is about the emotion that's going on. The different games people was playing. Well, that karma is coming back in. Now they hurt, drained, feeling like the wounded warrior. On the floor trying to give offerings to their ancestors. Well, the many messages is coming in through different songs for you. This angel is on a cloud of darkness. So during your darkest time, your angels are always around. All you got to do is call on them. The different fairies, ancestors, they may show up for you in different forms. But this is a time to walk away from a situation that was not right. And with you walking away, you have the ten of water. You have Yimiya, the ending of an uh, ego. When you end this ego, your abundance will start coming in. Being balanced. Here, this is gathering all the fish up. That's money in your pocket. That's that happy home. <clears throat> Yimia is a balance of emotions. It's the nourishing. Where that stream started off real little, those manifestations you wanted to come in, well, they're going to be flowing in. And this is going to be coming in fast with this Aries energy that you are standing in, standing in your own power. Understanding the different signs that's coming in for you. Where it'll still be different secrets coming out. Things that you didn't see in the dark is coming to the light. And yeah, it may hurt. It may hurt your heart. But guess what? This is the clarity that's coming in. So don't get stressed out. Don't worry because you are balancing out during that storm of darkness. Karma is here calling in all of the energies that was given out that's going to have to go right back through. Your ancestors say stay out of your mind overthinking. That's what this air sign is. All in your head. The doors are open. Your answers, your questions have been answered. So, Aries, this is a time for you 
to step back, let that ego die, and move forward. This is a month of learning your lessons and getting that knowledge.